Now it for drastic action by Governor Gavin Newsom. He signs an executive order allowing cities to remove homeless encampments from public property. Good afternoon. This is the KTLA 5 News at 4. I'm Samantha Cortese. And I'm Karine Wenter. Lawmakers all across California are now reacting to the order in dramatically different ways. And some human rights groups are already preparing to intervene. KTLA's Carlos Saucedo joins us live in studio with what the order means for us here in Southern California. Hi, Carlos. Hey, ladies. Good afternoon. Yeah, big announcement by the governor. Now, we've all seen images like these throughout the Golden State. Homeless encampments taking over city sidewalks and parks. Now, California's governor says he's had enough and is using a recent Supreme Court ruling to take action. Today, I announced an executive order to move the process forward. We're done. It's time to move with urgency. On Thursday, Governor Gavin Newsom issued a directive to start dismantling homeless encampments who critics have said are plaguing neighborhoods all across the state. Part of the order directs state agencies like Caltrans to help local authorities remove tents and makeshift shelters near freeways and in places like city parks. A landmark Supreme Court ruling gave local leaders more authority to take down the encampments and Newsom is moving forward with it. He has been at the forefront of arguing before the Supreme Court in an amicus brief, we need to be able to use this, these anti-camping ordinances. So what he's doing is basically looking at the Supreme Court decision that allows for this type of policy decision, and he's deciding to move forward. Some homeless advocates are concerned how this could be enforced. I hope we can do something to make this really work to where we can house the homeless, help them with their, their issues, bring back our community, help our businesses. The governor can order local leaders to act, but his administration can apply pressure by withholding funds for cities and counties that don't comply with the directive. L.A. County Supervisor Catherine Barger. His executive order addresses the issues surrounding mental illness, substance abuse, and that we need to do more to provide um, support and care for them as well. Not everyone is on board. Former L.A. City Councilman Mike Bonin, who represented areas like Venice, where homelessness has been an ongoing issue, blasted the governor's order, calling it a failed strategy. I think it's definitely politically motivated. I mean, he's under a, a lot of pressure to address homelessness, and a lot of politicians feel tempted to, instead of solving it, make it seem less visible. And that is what he's doing with this order. And L.A. Mayor Karen Bass also put out a statement thanking the governor for his partnership in fighting homelessness. But we're already hearing from civil liberties groups. They're ready to challenge any heavy handed enforcement, ensuring protections against excessive fines and due process violations are upheld. Kareem. Yeah, Carlos, so it'll definitely be those challenges ahead. Thank you so much.